Good, excuse me. Good morning, guys. How are y'all doing? Okay, so this is a update because I don't remember if I told you guys a couple weeks ago, but I had a mole removed on my arm. I have not got the results of it back and see if it was cancerous or not. The reason why I had it checked was because I do have family members that have had skin cancer, so I wanted to make sure that... I am taking better care of myself. Oh, I'm making sure. I'm trying to be make better. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'm trying to take better care of myself. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, I uh, wanted it checked out. I've had that mole on my arm as long as I can remember. And, but uh, the doctor didn't like the color of it. I was like, the middle of it was like a, a healthy looking brown. But around the edges was. A lighter brown so she wanted to check it out then Friday of last week I got the stitches taken out they had not got the results back of the biopsy but then where the mole was that uh, incision got infected so I then now I'm on antibiotics to get that cleared up and I was taking care of it but it is at a weird angle on my arm because I have to go like I have to go like this you guys can see the thing you need so it's kind of at a weird angle. I could, I'm going like this, trying to take care of it. And bad angle. And I'm not using that as an excuse, but when you're trying to doctor something and you can't see it properly, it, it's kind of hard to take care of something. Sorry, guys, my nose is running this morning. Ugh. But um, it just, it was, you know, trying now I'm on my antibiotics. I'm still cleaning it three times a day. And um, put an anti, um, couple antibiotic uh, ointment on it on top of the band aids. Oh my gosh. The uh, last week I was keeping band aids on it when I'm at work. So that way I was protecting it from bumping into something, having a little cushion on it. The adhesive on the band aids, the brand of band aids I was using, was causing my skin to blister like oh and I'm kind of wondering if the blisters popping around the incision and the stitches caused might have caused the possible in fact the, the infection I it just it's me thinking you know I'm, I'm like okay I'm cleaning it like I'm supposed to I'm using antibacterial the ointment on it I'm using you know the peroxide and rubbing alcohol, making sure I'm keeping it clean. The band-aids I had, was using I had um, antibacterial ointment on the little little cushion patty thingy on it. And so I was doing that, but I'm like, okay, if the blisters are popping, and if they're by chance seeping into the incision, did that cause the infection? I mean, it's, it's just a thought, you know, because me and me, I overthink things. But I will keep you guys updated when I do get the uh, when I do get the results and the lighting behind me sucks. When I do get the results, if it be either a benign or the other uh, results that we don't want, um, I'll keep you guys updated. So that's the gist of that. I'm sorry that there's background noise. I have my box fan on and I also have uh, the TV on I'm watching touched by an angel so but either than that I'll keep you guys posted on the uh oh shoot my nose is warning um the biopsy excuse me and let you guys know what's going on there and I think I told like I said I think I told you guys a couple weeks ago when I had it done but my memory is not as good as what it used to be so please forgive me I wanted to give you an, an update on what's going on with the incision. That's all I, uh, but it took a little bit to get the stitches out because the stitches were I mean, like tiny, 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 I mean, itty bitty. I mean, like they were so so little. I mean, took her a minute to get them out, and that's okay. And then while I was at the doctor's office downstairs, is the we have a Walgreens downstairs, so I'm like. Send it, send it, sending it to my regular pharmacy. Since I'm already here in the building, just go ahead and send it to Walgreens. I'll go down there and get it. Ma'am, bam, thank you, ma'am. 
and then I was able to start taking the antibiotics. That, I mean, bam, the, as soon as I got it. So I, I was able to do that. So, and I'm just like thankful for that. But guys, I love you. I will talk to you soon. Have a good week. Make good decisions. And I will see you on the flip side.